Hey, what's up, guys? Chill, so welcome back to uh, Sukihime, Piece of Blue Glass Moon. Last time, we had a very, um... Dramatic encounter with Mario, Arkwid, uh... N Noelle. <laughs> and, uh... Now, Arkwid's kind of freaking out. She, uh... She's... she's she told Shiki to stay away for his you know, his own sake, but Shiki's Shiki's not gonna abide by that. He's gonna he's gonna go after her 100%. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's get into it. Day 11, Blood Red Moon 2. Load data. Oh boy. I uh I think I finally found like like I because I, I I change my audio settings so often. I think I finally found an audio setup that with this USB microphone that sounds pretty good. Finally, <laughs> after so long. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys agree. <clears throat> it's morning. <clears throat> I feel for my glasses and put them on before I open my eyes. The sky outside of the window is a beautiful, uh, is beautiful, gentle blue. But no amount of sun could brighten my mood. Yeah. The reason for my misery is obvious. I can't shake the image of her moonlit profile as she apologized to me. It'll be better for the both of us. What did she mean by that? Was she asking me f uh, to forget what I did to her in the alley? Or did she want me to forget all about her? Either way, that's not going to happen. There's no way I could forget even for uh, even a moment of our time together. I stare down at my hands. My fingers still recall the feel of her body. The smoothness of her skin. The way she felt cool to the touch, yet warm at the same time. Now all I've got are regrets. If she decided to kill me back then, I wouldn't have begrudged her one bit. Yeah. Yeah, I... You probably would have deserved it. <laughs> but despite my guilt, a selfish thought rears its head. Why couldn't I have had more control over myself? When my fingers coursed across her body, I was little more than an animal. Had I possessed more of my senses, had I been more human, it could have been... <laughs> could have been what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go on. Uh, oh, I bite back at my self-indulgent fantasies, uh? Instead of a murderess, it could have been, uh, <clears throat> I get you, I get you, okay. Her gold eyes aren't what made me lose it. When was it that I started to feel this way? Um, pretty much right away, like the second day you were with her. <laughs> without realizing it, without even knowing why, I've fallen for her. I felt like this for so long now. Maybe even from the moment she said she'd forgive me for the things I did to her. It was never about Roa to begin with. I've been crazy about Arkwood since day one. But now... It's probably for the best if we don't meet again. Yeah, but that's sad. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 you're definitely gonna meet again, though. <laughs> I can't stop thinking of how lonely her smile felt back then. It's too late. If I'd noticed sooner, I never would have made her feel that way. <sighs> shiki, shiki, shiki. The morning plays out as usual. Isui comes to wake me up. I find Akiha and Kohaku in the parlor. We exchange pleasantries before I head to school. The same mundane routine. This peace and quiet was what we put our lives on the line for. I should be happy. I didn't lose anything. 
yet I feel empty. Like a machine blankly following its pre-programmed commands, I perform my morning regimen before leaving for school. Mm. The students near the gate look cheerful. As I pick up bits of conversation here and there, I realize everyone's chatting about their weekend plans. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is, huh? I was so caught up in Hurricane Arkwood that I completely lost track of what day it is. It happens. We first met on a, on a Friday morning, too. She was right here, waiting for me by the crossing. Yeah. Thinking about the ways she was gonna torture you for what you did to her. <sighs> but then, you know, you ended up talking. From that very first day, she always had a smile on her face. Even as she was laying in ambush for her murderer, not once did she lose that mischievous glint in her eyes. Hmm. But the chance to ask her has come and gone. There's no way I'll find her waiting for me in the park again. Uh, you never know. You never know. I take my seat. There's five more minutes until homeroom. With nothing else to do, I idly look over the schoolyard from the window. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't rub it in. I heave a long, drawn-out sigh. Normally, I'd exchange barbs with him, but I just don't have the energy for it. To, energy for it today. Well, I mean, you should be showing up no matter what we're like, <laughs> you know, realistically. Arahiko slumps his shoulders in an exaggerated motion. Yeah, about that. Uh, shaky. Um, she's not. Yeah. Huh? Mm hmm. My sentence stops short. Who? Who was I talking about again? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Who, who, who are you talking about? Hmm? <laughs> Neither of us know any of the third years. Now, oh, yeah, you're out. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, see you around. Our ego slips out of the classroom's back door. Alright. Is Miss Noel here still? Uh, just as he leaves, the door at the front opens to let in Miss Noah or not. It turns out to be the homeroom teacher of the class next door. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sure he's here for a reason. Uh. That was quick. I'm, I I would have thought she would have stuck around a bit longer. <laughs> the laid-back math teacher explains the situation in an apathetic tone. Yeah, well, I, um, yes and no. It's very unprofessional. <laughs> like, like to leave the day of, um, is 
Yeah, very unprofessional. <laughs> that's, that's really all there is to it. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's How is her deciding to leave indicative of her being a hoe? What? what? <sighs> well, what a teenager girl's man. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> or I should say high school girls. Um, the wails of despair erupt from Miss Noelle's dedicated male fan club. Uh-huh. It finally clicks in my head. In this place so far removed from it from everything. Something as trivial as a teacher quitting forces me to face reality. It's really over. Miss Noel was only ever a substitute teacher to observe me. Or rather, the person she believed to be the vampire Roa. If she's gone, it means her work here is done. Yeah, sure. I'm now completely free from the whole vampire ordeal. You sure about that? Not a single thread connects me to it any, any longer. Uh, mm, I don't know about that. I do not know about that one. Cheeky buddy. <laughs> I think you're being a little, uh, overly optimistic. Classes end for the day. With tomorrow being Saturday, the students scurry off like an army of arachnids the second the final bell rings. I fulfilled all my scholarly obligations for today. And the rest of the day is time I can dedicate to myself. So well. Do I actually get a choice? Or what should I be doing? I'm like a kite cut loose from its string. Gone is my obligation to protect this place. Gone is our mission to rid the city of vampires. I'm bereft of the one driving force that guided me for the past week. Who cares anymore? I might as well take a nap here. It'd be a perfectly sensible thing for an ordinary person to do. Um, I don't, should I mean, I guess. She's gone. Miss Noelle is gone too. Maybe. Huh? I'd gotten myself in too deep with this vampire business. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. The executor said that for humans, there's no such thing as a good vampire. Can I really still believe she's good after seeing her like that? Uh, yeah, and, uh, I mean, comparatively speaking, I would say she's good. It'd be smarter to go home while you still can. This might be your last chance to pretend you were never involved in any of this. The blonde-headed kid's warning resonates in my mind. Yeah, Shiki, look on the bright side. You can finally say goodbye to this vampire crap and go back to living a normal life. But do you want that? Really? Like, at the end of the day... Well, I mean, I feel like this one's pretty obvious, right? Like, look upon reality in the end. Because, like, if we per... No, I, I feel like nothing... Actually, maybe a... Hmm. I wonder if... One would lead to an ending, but not like a bad end, like dead end or anything. Maybe it would just be an end. That'd be interesting. But I'll leave that for later. I'll uh, look upon a reality. Yeah. Yeah.
You can't leave this bin uh, b b business unfinished. I can't see her again. How could I after what I did? But even so, I'm determined to, f to fulfill my promise to her one last time. If I have the chance to come face to face with the things I couldn't do, I have to take it. And perhaps once I do that, I'll be able to put these emotions to rest. <sighs> no, you'll be stuck with these emotions for the rest of your life. <laughs> but you can you can give it a go. I stand in front of the disaster's ruins. Six days have passed since the fire. The area is now completely silent. The ruins are little more than a cruel reminder of the tragedy that took place. Not a trace remains of the once popular park in front of the station. Uh, yeah, this place got fucked up. This place used to be so full of life. Full of people unknown to me, with whom I never crossed paths. I never knew them, yet I can't just let it go. Yet I can just let go, as I never knew them. It would be easy enough to absolve myself of any guilt, especially when I had no hand in this. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're not the one who caved in the ground, that's, that's true. If ignorance is a sin, then all humans are sinners. If insincerity is evil, then all of humanity is damned. So why, did, why should I hang my head here? I can't let myself lament the deaths of strangers. Mourning the dead out of my own arbitrary feelings of sadness is just... wrong. Instead, farewells ought to be used to reflect on our time with them. The tears we shed should honor their memory as well as their deeds. Tears or apologies born out of sorrow are nothing more than rituals we perform for our own selfish ends. That should mean I can just turn back and put this all behind me. Or so I thought. Yeah, yeah you are. <laughs> Despite everything. I can't seem to pull myself away. I shouldn't feel this sadness. I shouldn't feel this self-righteousness. At the end of the day, I should just be looking out for myself. And yet, I keep coming to the same conclusion. You can't just call it quits after you've lost it all. Once you've done everything you can, you should let the curtain fall with your head held high. It feels like a stranger taught me that once upon a time. Mm. Footsteps echo behind me. I look over to see her. Oh, Ciel! I thought you were gone! Uh, didn't, didn't Mario send her back to... Or is she being naughty and doing something she's not supposed to? Hmm... Tisk tisk CL. A girl wearing our school uniform. Though I don't recognize her face. Hmm? And while I feel like I should know her, I can't even recall her name. Konnichiwa. Anata mo kenka ni kitan desu ka? Um, no, we didn't- we didn't bring any flowers, un unfortunately. Yeah, I Hmm? Her eyes are locked on the area in front of the barricade. The place is covered in bouquets. They rustle in unison as if in remembrance of the dearly departed. Yeah. 
What do you need to finish making up your mind, Shiki? There's no way I can turn my back to these vampires. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, um... It's not just gonna go away. Sorry, I was adjusting something. I can't forget about Roa. And I definitely can't forget about her. Yeah, yeah, he's... <laughs> he's stubborn. She never once looks at me. Nor do I look at her. It seems the polite thing to do for someone who came all this way to offer a warning to a stranger. おお、おいしい、おいしい。その意味が分かっていますか分かってます。どの道を俺一人じゃ何もできない。Very Ciel, I think he understands better than you you give him credit for. I disagree. いえ。そもそも人間の血を吸いたいという欲求は神祖から人間に移されたもの。That's That's true. That's a very very good true point. 人間の慣れの果てに過ぎない。私たち人間にとって正真正銘の怪物は神祖と呼ばれる始まりの吸血鬼。I I don't know. I don't get it. I don't think so. I really, I really, I disagree. <笑>始まりってそれはどういう考えたことがないとは言わせません血を吸われたことで人間が吸血鬼化するのならその根源大元にあたる初めから吸血鬼だった存在がいること yeah. この生命としての系統術が異なる吸血鬼神祖と言います人間の血なんて必要なく人たちと同等いえそれ以上の超越能力を持つ者たちいやウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィウィ
like if they didn't have the the the, the desire for blood, they would be uh pretty unstoppable. Kako, shinso ni osowareleb a kore ni taiko dekiru ningen wa inakatta. Soshite chio suwareta ningen wa sono jiten de ningen de nakunatte shima. Genin wa seimei tai toshite no scale no chigai tomo.彼らが血液を魂として捉えている仮に血を吸う側の神祖がそれを望まなくと Dropping little hints.思い出した。人は自分の血を送ることで人間を仲間にするんだっけ。逆に神祖ってやつはただ血を吸うだけで人間を犯すってことですか。え、そして問題は彼らの吸血衝動には理由がないということです。理由がないから止めようがない。神
but that's not really true of Arkwood though. Because she spawned Roa, but she was able to come back to herself. その衝動による痛みも倍化すると聞きます。結果としてもう二度と吸血衝動を怠えることができなくなる。うーん。真相は極めて優れた種ですが、吸血衝動を抑えなくてはいけないため、全力を出せません。ですが落ちた真相はも
Like that's, I feel like that's. Uh huh. Like that's a lot of time to be alone. Yeah, that's a lot of time to be alone. Yeah, that's a lot of time to be alone. Yeah, that's a lot of time to be alone. むしろ今までよく持った方でしょう。彼女はアルクエイドはもう未来のない命なんです。For the first time ever, it's not my anemia making me feel lightheaded. The stranger's words struck me with, with such force that I can hardly see straight. What the hell? So this entire time, Arkwood was out here hunting vampires, even though she knew she was doomed? That doesn't make any sense. It can't be true. That's <laughs> もう自分がダメだって分かっているやつが俺たちのためなんかに吸血鬼を退治しに来るわけがない。It's mm. not for for human sake though. That's the thing. 彼女が吸血鬼を処理するのは私たちのためではありません。それが彼女の役割だからです。Yeah, yeah, she even told you that. She, she, I think Arkwood told you that twice. <laughs> 役割 um, her, her people from like the moment she was born. Kanojoingainosinsotachidishone. ただ殺すためだけのそれ以外のことを何も必要としない純粋な真相を誕生させ処刑役にしたそれがアルクエイドという真相なんです彼女はミサイルみたいなもので一度び城から放たれれば最後標的になった吸血鬼は確実に滅
a field composed of dawn in the image of the inner sea. I, re I really like this, this, the CG. I like how a lot of the CGs are really just vastly upgraded versions of their original counterparts. Like, I'm gonna try and remember to put uh, a comparison image of this. Cause there's a, there's a similar CG from the original and it's, 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 it's very, it's, it's, it's good to see how they how they kept the, the, the spirit of a lot of the uh CGs. At the center of this castle lies a courtyard. Amidst a sea of white flowers stands a lone woman, eyes closed adrift in a dream. <laughs> There's no one else. No one to talk to. No one to come across. And what a fucking sad existence that is. She has nothing. Not the simple joy of meeting someone's gaze. Not the fulfillment of conversation with another. From the start, she was never given any choice in the matter. Yep, hers has been a... A cursed existence. But... ヒメと叩いていながら誰も彼女には近寄らなかった。城を与えられていながら彼女の世界は薄暗い地下室だけだった。だから彼女に感情を与えてくれる者はどこにもいなかった。ヘッパンを焼く機能、Fair point, I guess. I was always taught never to allow myself any excess. Her tone was almost sing-song. But that explains why her eyes felt so hollow when she said she could only rely on herself. She's never needed anyone. Not that anyone was ever there. She might she might not even have realized it. Maybe that was once the case. But every single time I saw her, she seemed so cheerful. 
always laughing and smiling over the most trivial things. So I just assumed she must have always been like that. What a cruel assumption to make. All along, that girl was actually... Was I really right before? When all of this has been so much fun? I never imagined that I could be so happy just being alive. Back then, I couldn't understand what she was going on about. Yet in that twilight classroom, she tried to work through her insecurities with me. Her voice hardly above a whisper. Because she hasn't had the, the chance to. Kanojo,活動時間に換算すると驚くほど短いんです。彼女の生涯はほぼすべてが睡眠だった。夢すら見ないようではそこに人間性など発生するはずがありません。Oh yeah, she did say something like that, huh? Really? Just talking is plenty of fun for me. そうして、落ちた真相を全て処断した後、彼女が城から出ることはなくなりました。一応の目的が済んだわけですから、真相たちも。yeah, but it's after a few hundred years, it's hard to hard to break the habit. けれど彼女は自由にはなれなかった本当に些細な間違いで城に残った真相たちを皆殺しにしてしまったから。I see. Her entire life, she'd been raised to kill vampires. So she dutifully fought, uh, fulfilled her orders until no more remained. Until only she was left. She lived in such a fixed, preordained world. A world where she never got to speak a single word. The murderous vampire. Kanojo,は根っからの処刑人。自分を縛っていた真相たちがいなくなっても、まだ吸血鬼殺しだけを目的にして徘徊している。I mean, mainly just Roa, but yeah. Kanojo,にはそれ以外の楽しみがないのでしょう。Until us, that is. You've got it wrong. And that isn't what makes her happy. How didn't I pick up on this before? She always spoke so cheerfully and smiled so radiantly. If only I looked more closely, I would have noticed. I would have seen just how lonely she'd been up to now. The fun of talking nonsense with someone until you lose all sense of time. The satisfaction you get from spending an entire day doing nothing, which most people take for granted. It's the little things in life, the trivial, everyday moments that make her truly happy. <laughs> yeah, he, we, we, he, we know better. The worst thing is, I don't think she even realizes what a ridiculous and sad life she's been leading. I can't accept that this is what her life was like. It's just far too unfair, like some cruel joke. 
全部嘘だ Back then I barely scraped together half an answer And for the rest of my life I, I might find myself pondering that same question But at the very least I've figured out what I want to do right now She doesn't need to find a joy from the mundane things in life All I have to do is make her see that happiness is only a hand's grasp away. Then I'm sure she'd... <laughs> what? The unfamiliar third year shakes me from my thoughts. This is Tonoshiki's reality now. That was an abrupt change in perspective. Even though it took me far too long to get here, I finally managed to clear my head. Yeah? Yeah. I was. Sorry. I don't remember. I heard it The girl sighs and nods with a hint of understanding. Give it up, CL. You tell her. You, you tell her and you go get your girl. そもそも、あいつを殺したのは俺なんだし。俺はちゃんと自分の死で貸したことの責任を倍にして返さないと。That's the only thing I want to do right now. I don't want her to be alone anymore. So this guy. Are you gonna... Are you gonna try and stop us, or...? Well, yeah, I mean, we did kill her. I mean, so, so yeah. <laughs> Kinda. To be honest, it isn't on me. No matter how much I might protest otherwise. I'm at... Mm, I don't know about that. I understand why this girl is telling me I should remain impartial. Am I really fighting Arkwood's enemy to save the city? It sounds so nice when it's put like that, but I know that isn't the truth. What I'm actually doing is killing a complete stranger on Arkwood's behalf. True. Hmm. Demo. I shift my gaze up. In front of me are the bouquets of flowers left as offerings to the dead. When I look behind me, the city looks away as it always has. Alive and well. Or looks as it always has. I don't know why I said looks away. I don't know, I don't know, what, I... <clears throat> I don't know what that was. Ah. A wave of dizziness sweeps over me. It's all so bright. Everything I couldn't save. And everything that she risked her life to protect. A place of happiness that should be cherished and safeguarded above all else. I'm so pathetic. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. I know that's a terrible thing for someone to boldly proclaim. Yeah, a little bit. I'd be no different from Vlav or Roa. A disgrace to humanity. But if it'll let me stay with Arkwit, I'll do it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I, I understand being exasperated. Like, I'm on Shiki's side, but I can see where CL's coming from. Yeah, he's, he's lovesick. What, 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 what can he say? 
申し訳ありません頑固なのは妹譲りらしくて Nah I think you've been this way for for a long time Shiki you don't 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 blame it on Akia Unless you're talking about Mieko then no no well then that's a different story 妹さんねまあいいですけどせっかくですからおまけの忠告です一度吸血衝動を抑えられなかった真相は立ち直れないもし彼女があなたの前に現れたとしたらそれはあなたの血を吸いに来たということです Taking into account her being, having been the one to turn Rella, right? Then, yes, she can, yeah, she just, yeah, she's past normal, yeah, true. But she's been holding herself back up till now, anyway, so I mean. I don't doubt that she believes full heartedly in what she's saying. But what I know about Arkwood is just as true. そんなことはないですよだってあいつはまだ血を吸ってないんだからうーん You certain about that? いいえノエルが止めていなければあなたは吸われていましたいや違うだって止まったんだあいつは大丈夫だったんだよだから誰が邪魔をしなくても You, 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 you keep holding on, to, holding on to that belief, Shiki. You, you keep holding on to that. That's right. Arkwood would have stopped herself just in time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess not. I guess not. I guess not. I guess not. Okay, so she had orders to leave, but she her her her. Okay, so she but she hadn't actually left yet. She was just avoiding getting involved due to orders, I guess. So that's why she okay. So it's not that she was here despite the orders. She was here waiting for her flight. Okay, makes sense. She walks past me. In the end, we never made eye contact, nor did she mention her name. Without another word, she passes me by. Ah, demo, hitotsu take. Ore kara mo shitsmon desu. Ah, what is it now, Shiki? Dou shite ore dake, senpai o oboete ita desu ka? Well, sort of remembers. You re you remember that you should know her. But you don't remember her, <laughs> if that makes sense. I may not remember her name anymore. But I definitely remember her. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Right, okay. Forgot, uh-huh. Well, that, there we go. I, the, all right. <clears throat> the flowers sway gently in the breeze. When I turn to look, I see the back of someone who was once my upperclassman, but I remember neither her face nor her name. Her footsteps fade into the distance. With one last bow before the rubble, I head back to where I'm supposed to be. The park. To meet up with Arkwid, hopefully. Or, no, this is the... Yeah, this is the mansion path. What? Or, I guess he's gonna... Yeah, I guess it's a little early. I guess we'll prepare at the mansion and then head to the park. I make my way to the mansion. I decided not to drop by Arkwood's apartment. There's no way she'd be there anyway. Besides, I have other things to attend to. I'll go looking for Arkwood later. 
Wait, what things do you... Tell Anaki how that we're gonna be... ...piecing out tonight? No matter what she says? Yeah, uh, Tadaima. Isui greets me upon my return. Tadaima. The way he says that makes me concerned. I express my sincere gratitude. Kisui's probably been waiting on me every single day. I've been running so ragged that I've never paused to consider the problems I've caused for her. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to come home before sundown at least once to allow her to properly carry out her duties. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, that's why I wanted to go home. Oh, I get what he's doing. He's... In case he does it, he doesn't make it. He's spending a normal day with them. I, I got you. Okay. He's, he's giving them a taste of, uh... Normalcy. After eating dinner with Akiha, I head for my room. At least for tonight, I played the part of the perfect brother. I even managed to hold a decent conversation with Akiha and Kohaku. Eh, compared to usual, anyway. <laughs> I wish I could have heard the conversation. That would have been, that would have been nice. But what can you do? As soon as I get back to my room, I gather up my things. There isn't much. Mostly school supplies, really. My knife, which I've grown rather fond of, is already safely tucked away in my pocket. So that only leaves my smartphone and the white ribbon. I like how they're dropping... Dropping the, the, the ribbon hints in here. After giving my room a quick clean, take a deep breath. I didn't think I'd be saying goodbye to a room in... Uh, to a room twice in such a short span of... Wait, yeah, why is he... Taking his school supplies? Wait a minute. Okay, I fully intend to return, but I'm covering my bases. Okay. It doesn't hurt to show my gratitude now, just in case this is a one-way trip. Yeah, no, that's... I, ma makes sense. I turn off the lights. The clock reads half past nine. It's the perfect time for me to leave the mansion. Are we gonna get stopped on our way out? No, okay. I thought maybe Akiha would catch us or something. Huh. It's a little before ten when I arrive at the park. There's not a single soul to be found. Taking a seat on the bench, I count the ticking of the clock while I wait for Arquid. For a moment, I consider roaming the city in search of her again. But that would be an exercise in futility. If she wants to avoid me, I won't find her, let alone catch her. Yeah, you have to let her come to you. Mm -hmm. We did make a promise after all That we'd meet here There's still time to fulfill that promise tonight I won't fail to keep my word again And if Arkwood cares enough too Then she'll be here Having faith and waiting for her is the best I can do right now I don't remember if she shows up in the original or if they or if they even if she even like tells us not to meet her again in the original or not don't remember I think I think so time passes the hands on the clock steadily carve away the hours 
the weight is suffocating. My body can't stand even another, even another second. What am I doing here? Or what am I doing? Wh I'm sorry, I, my brain auto-filled. What am doing? Uh... <clears throat> Sitting here like some lawn ornament? I should be out there looking for her. In stark contrast to my body, my mind remains calm. I look up at the night sky and the brilliant moon. It's softly quiet. As if this world is composed solely of me and her. If I can wait under these circumstances, nothing will deter me. I'll stay as long as it takes. I'll happily suffocate if necessary. The moon was so bright before, but now its gentle glow is fading. There's only three hours left till dawn. Once the sun rises, it'll, it'll all be over. It would mean that the knights Arquindai spent happily hunting down vampires are behind us for good. Not that I can do anything about that now. <sighs> yeah, yeah, she didn't show up. A pitiful sigh escapes my lips. I'm not sure if I should laugh or just wallow in despair. Either way, there's not much else I can do. That's when I spot a sliver of white in the shadows. She must believe she's hidden, but she's tragically unsuited for stealth. Arkwid. Oi, it's already 3 o'clock. I'll wait for you Probably forever. I call out from my spot on the bench. <laughs> yeah, you're not slick. A surprised gasp betrays her cover. Arkwood reveals herself a few seconds later. Yeah. Still think your forte. She's like a startled rabbit in a snowy field. Hmm. She's so cute when she's shy. <laughs> oh. Arkwood doesn't say a word. She won't meet my eye or get any closer either. Arcade. I say her name, but she doesn't acknowledge me. Uh, uh. It's a struggle to find the words. Everything I thought of earlier vanished the second I saw her. Shit. What can I even say to get her smiling again? I'm scared that anything I tell her will only make her more sad. Time feels like it's slowing down, stretching into eternity. Yet the hands of a clock would say hardly a moment has passed. When Arkwood looks up, she flinches like she were looking into a bright light. Shiki. Yeah? We, we promised. Mm hmm Yeah, that's that's what that's what was happening. Okay, sure. Her voice trembles a little here and there. But she seems more like her cheerful self from before. Sorry, yeah. You want us to just forget? Like. ここで待ち合わせるのが俺たちの約束だ。一緒に吸血鬼を倒してくれるんだろ。No, not the sad face. Put put the sad face away. So please, stop looking at me like that. If you don't, 
I won't be able to refrain from grabbing you with everything I've got. Nope. Nope, not even a little bit. Ah. アルクエイドとの約束は破らないって言っただろ。今夜はまだお前の手助けをしていない。いいよ。もうそんなのはいいの。Yes, we do. 式は一人で帰って。No. ドアのことなら私が何とかしてみせるから。I refuse. いいって。何がいいんだ。アルクエド。言うまでもないでしょ。やっぱり私は吸血鬼で、指揮は人間だっていうことよ。Who gives a fuck other than CL? 私は指揮に助けてもらう資格なんてなかった。協力なんて求めてはいけなかった。うーん。そんなことにも気づかないままで、私は、あと少しであなたを台無しにしてしまうところだった。だから。So what? It's fine, she mutters under her breath. It's not fine, okay? I don't care what you say. <laughs> it is not fine. I fight back the urge to yell at her. That ship sailed a long time ago. I knew what I was in for the second I told her I'd help out. I knew. I still promised to help. So... I refuse to, edit, to, to let it end like this. Yeah, we don't hold it against you, okay? お前は体が弱ってて、ただ疲れていただけなんだ。俺はバカだからさ。お前の嘘に気づいてやれなかった。お前を苦しめてたのは体の傷なんかじゃなくて吸血衝動ってやつだったんだろ。True. Sort of. Yeah, we, we, may, we may have done that. Yeah, a little bit. Arkwood sighs, looking more exhausted than upset. Ah, I've heard everything. I've heard everything. I've heard お前には問題なんてないよ、アルクエド。今は苦しいけど、何日かすれば元に戻るんだろう。なら気にする必要はない。それにあの夜だってあんなに苦しそうだったのに、ちゃんと我慢できたじゃないか。だから大丈夫だ
which uh, yeah. Mm. Oh no. Cause she was doing pretty well against him before that. Cause she, her defense was her mainly protecting the town from being f f frost killed. So like, I don't know. Damn it! I just don't know how to deal with her. I'm the worst. I'm so mad. It makes me want to cry. She should have done it all alone. I'm not sure if she's lying to herself or just putting on a brave face. But who does she think she's fooling with that miserable expression? Yeah, you don't believe anything you're saying. Yeah, you tell her. <laughs> I'm at my limit. I jump up from the bench and yell at her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. What we 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 gonna do about it, huh? あ、気に食わなければ惑星級でも銀河級でも何でもつけ足してやれ。ふざけやがって。何が自分だけで敵を追ってればよかっただ。一人じゃ無理だから。一人じゃできないことがあるって気づいたから。俺に手を貸せって
Here I go again, ignoring what Master once taught me. If you tell a lie that you can't even fool yourself, you'll just hurt the other person. <sighs> oh, whoops. Then don't make us have that look again. Easy, right? No. I disagree. Arkwid, <sighs> Shiki's right, you are an idiot. She turns her back to me so as to avoid my gaze. She might be right. If we hadn't gotten this close, then none of this would have happened. I could have returned to my day-to-day -day routine, and Arkwood would, would have gone back to being alone. Then neither of us would have to worry for the other. Hmm? Oh, Shiki. I don't know if talking about that's the best thing. Arkwid doesn't answer. But I notice the slightest tremor in her shoulders. Don't. No, stop that. Stop. Stop. I don't, I don't want it to be back to normal at the expense of your life. Though I can't see her face, her voice still lacks her usual cheer. I can't stand it anymore. I've tried to be mature about this, but even I have my limits. Yeah, he's worried about you, moron. I close in on Arkvid. You'll listen. You, you, you'll listen. She looked like she might run away at any moment. So I placed my hand on her shoulders and spun her around before she could find the chance. しっき。はっきり言わなくちゃわかんないなら口にする。いや、ごまん。いいか。俺が手助けをすると言ったのは、町を探している吸血鬼を倒すためじゃない。うん。自分が住んでいる町を守るとか、そんなご体操な理由な
The gentle brush of her breath makes my throat seize up. Him squeezing you shouldn't hurt, but okay. Her voice caresses my ear in a way that makes my heart leap. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, she she did have a death grip on you uh, last night, yep. I send a longing glance her way. An illicit confession of a desire best unsaid. That's a weird thing to say, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's Alright, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold him, but this is kinda weird a weird thing to say out loud. Thump. My arms are wrapped firmly around her. Our chests pressed close. I feel the drumming of her heart. No. 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 Uh-uh. Yeah, you tell her. Wait, wave away that bullshit she's trying to spread. Yeah, if that's the case, well, that's, that's fair, but... <laughs> Thump. The sound of my heart thumping, then freezing with trepidation. Why? Hmm, go on, Arkwid, why? My heart stops for just a second. But then, as if sensing my anguish, her arms coil around me. She's gentle at first. Then she grips me tighter and tighter. She squeezes me with both arms, holding me just as desperately as I hold her. The embrace lasts only a moment. I'm not sure who broke away first. I think we both pulled away at the same time so that we might look at each other again. Arkwood's eyes are downcast, her cheeks tinted a deep red. A wave of relief rushes through my veins. She's here. With me. There's no way we'll be torn apart again. Yeah! Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Her hair sways gently. She raises her head as if to say something, but then lowers it again after meeting my eye. Her cheeks even redder than before. <sighs> well, it's 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 kind of hard to do that. Her voice trails off weakly. She's been so concerned about me, she's avoiding what happened in the alley. And here I am, still being inconsiderate. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> no, it's it wasn't entirely on you. You 
can't be serious. You can't make that face and then ask me to forget. If anything, I'll never forget this moment. You must be a devil to ask that. <laughs> never mind a vampire. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
多分嬉しいんだと思う。The fact that she doesn't, that she doesn't know is, is sad. いろんな感情が溢れてきて、体がぽわっとして、方が自分のものじゃないみたい。自分が今どんな顔をしているかわからないくらいに。ねえ、四季なら私がどんな顔をしているかわかるかなうーん無茶言うな抱き合ったまま顔を見られるもんか Well, lean back a little bit でも I adjust my grip slightly Just enough to hold her tight でもきっと同じ顔をしていると思う俺もさっきから頬がバカみたいに緩みっぱなしだ。Our bodies pressed together, we share a laugh.A joy far stronger than simple desire floods my chilled body with warmth. ねえ、四季。She whispers into my ear. A gentle, almost sleepy sound. Okay. Sure. She nuzzles her face into my shoulder. There's only one hour left till dawn. They were talking for two hours? <laughs> When morning comes, our time together will be up. I know how she feels. I can't stand to be apart from her either. Yeah. As it should be. Arkwood's room hasn't changed a bit. We're, we're the ones who've changed. I can just make out Arkwood moving behind me. My emotions are running wild. My body is urging me to turn around and pull her into my arms again. My thoughts, on the other hand, are surprisingly calm. I don't understand it very well. Maybe love is just that a strange balance between sanity and insanity. Arkwood. Hmm? I'm about to turn and face her. But just before I do, I feel the light touch of her fingers against my back. Okay, whatever you say. Her voice is calm. Her palm lies flat against my back, unmoving, as if she were checking something. Neshki. Yeah. yeah, pretty uh, a surreal experience, I'm sure. Yeah, fair enough. Despite the subject matter, her voice is gentle and sweet. もう自分でも吸血症度は抑えられないと分かっていてきっとこれが最後のチャンスだって覚悟してロアを追いかけてようやく見つけたと思った時に見ず知らずの誰かに殺されて何もかも壊されてしまったいやあ、それは悪いあ
Her fingers clutched the back of my shirt. Yes, it's getting kind of concerning. でもね。私をあんな風に殺したいってなんて今までいなかった。少しだけどんな奴なんだろうって興味もあった。それにあんな風に誰かを強く思うなんてこと今までなかった。初めはただ憎しみしかなかった。けどあなたはどんな人間な
we slowly part, our arms still carefully wrapped around one another. Our eyes peer into each other's depths. Yeah, mark what it was. Her brilliant crimson eyes peer up at me. Wisps of golden hair trace her movements. She didn't say that. Thump. Sure enough, it beats loud enough for me to hear. You sure that's not your own? And the sound is only matched by my own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. いいのかなって何が。うん。だってね、式。うん。唇を重ね合ったりする吸血鬼なんていないよ。Well, I'm sure someone somewhere maybe kissed a bit. Maybe maybe no human has ever kissed a true ancestor. But you know, I'm sure there was probably some dead apostle that got intimate with one of his thralls at some point, you know. I'm sure it's happened. <laughs> My cheeks go red. She says it with a shy, teasing giggle. But Just like that, it's checkmate. I'm totally defeated. I forget about everything. I even forget who I am. All that matters is the two of us, falling onto the bed in a tight embrace. I reach for her hair, for her bare flesh, but I restrain myself just in time. Oh man, I'm on the verge of hyperventilating. Fair and yeah, I, I don't, uh, yeah. I can't make the same mistake again. No matter how much I want her, I can't let my own selfish desires take control. Arkwood looks up from underneath me. Hey, yo. Uh, I guess she's into being pinned down? That's, uh... Fascinating. Her eyes glimmer with adoration and joy, seeming to offset any nerves she might be feeling. My breath meets hers. Our flesh melds together as one. Arousal and passion lay bare body and soul. As though we're assuring ourselves of the affection in our hearts, we seek each other out, hungrily at times, gently at others. They're obviously not gonna show it, but yeah, it's um like the original. They're they're, they're implying they got it on. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> but I don't blame them, because uh, you know. Uh -huh. Obviously, you know, they're not a doujin circle anymore. They're an actual company. And two, the, 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 the smashing scenes in the original were kind of cringe. <laughs> um, with a deep breath, I collapse into the bedsheets. For someone who never dreams, this is what I imagine it must be like. Arkwid lies asleep next to me. Her fingers are still laced with mine, clutching my hand with a content look in her face. Mm-hmm. I feel a little, a little bashful thinking about what we've just done. Uh-huh. But having made love to her, I can't say I have a single regret. Yeah, if you did, I would, I would smack you. <laughs> Except maybe, I wish I had kept it, to kept it together. If I had been more in control of everything, 
I could have savored the warmth of her skin and the flush in her face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sure a uh, super-powered vampire probably is hard to keep up with, yeah. I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep a cool head around Arkwood in the future. Even now, I was so enraptured by her, I can barely remember what we did. All I remember was that it felt impossibly good. <sighs> yeah, rub it in, why don't ya? <laughs> rub it in! So good it left me exhausted beyond belief. I don't think I could get up from the bed if I tried. And I'm sure something else would have a hard time getting up at this point, too. <laughs> Fighting back a yawn. I watch over Arkwood's sweet visage. I really love her. And think she actually reciprocated my one-sided feelings. Our forms of love might be different, but at the very least, I know Arkwood needs me too. That alone is enough to fill me with joy. Not just because I'm wanted, but because Arkwood, who has always been alone, decided she needed me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure, buddy. My consciousness starts to fade. Looks like I've just about reached my limit. I settle into the bed sheets, take a deep breath, and allow myself to drift into a deep, peaceful sleep. <sighs> oh, right. At some point while I'm sleeping. I dream that Arkwood wakes up before me. She fidgets quietly, as if planning some clandestine mischief. I ask her what she's doing. Yeah. Not so much awake as half asleep. Thanks to you, my body isn't really responding to my brain right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you you tired us out. Ark with really giggles girlishly. It's a bit strange that I can see her with my eyelids closed, but she looks happy, so I don't linger on the details. Yeah. And what's up? I ask her again. I'm sure she's tired, too. It'd be better to rest till night. Oh, boy. What a weird thing to ask. It's not like it'll happen anyway. She's terrified of drinking blood. Right, right, what if, uh-huh. Stop that. It won't happen. Besides, I already told you that I don't like what ifs. So? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Right. I think you said something like that before. Yeah. Indeed. Um, probably killed us, like you were planning to do originally, hey, maybe? Or... Quid? 
Okay, thanks. こんな気持ちを持たせてくれて、それを言葉として伝えさせてくれるなんて、本当に優しかった。Uh huh. What's happening? <laughs> Is she crying? それじゃあ、四季が目を覚ます前に行くね。You dumbass. 面と向かってさよならが言えないから、これで許して。Oh, is the him seeing her despite his eyelids being closed? Is that supposed to be implying that she used Len to show us that message? Maybe? But no, because she remarked on us being awake. Unless it's part of the. Hmm. Either way, she's dumb. Faintly, I can make out, make out the click of the door. I'm still asleep, but the sound echoes through the haze. Ah, <sighs> Arkwid. You utter fool. <sighs> My eyes come open. Dazzling sunlight shimmers through the curtains. I check the clock and realize it's a little afternoon. It's Saturday. <laughs> I jump up from bed. And quickly realize that today is a Saturday. I don't have to go to school today, though. Uh, though if I'm to be concerned about anything, it's that I stayed over at Arkwood's place without saying a word to anyone at the mansion. Mm -mm, that's not the biggest uh, con concern right now. Though, Shiki. Come to think of it, I had a strange dream. In it, I was talking to Arkwit and she gave me a kiss at the end. Huh? A <sighs> little bit. The fact that I had such a self indulgent dream while Arkwit is asleep right next to me is further proof <laughs> that I'm drowning in happiness. Um. You should check. The spot next to you. So, Mother, Haruk. Mm hmm. I turn around to look at the bed. My sentence cuts short. Arcado. Mm. I stare at the bed in stunned confusion. There's no one there. Arkwood is gone. I'd better get going. I remember now. That's what she told me in my dream. Wait. Yeah, you, you, you better haul ass. I quickly search the apartment. She's nowhere to be to be found. I only find one thing out of place. A single note left on the table. No. Yeah, she's being a dummy. A big dum dum. Is this some sort of joke? The note is short. Bye. Nothing else. None. I don't want to believe it. I can, but I can't help but understand why she did it. None. This isn't right. Bye. That's all. It's way too simple. Didn't we make a promise? Didn't we agree to see this through together? I said I would help. So why? Why did you decide to go it alone again? Crumpling the note in my fist, I cry out with all my might. She doesn't want you to find out her dirty little secret. Only a few seconds later, I run out of her room like a madman to scour the town in search of her.
Yeah, nowhere to be found. I can't find her anywhere. I know. I know she'll never show her face before me again. But that doesn't mean I'm giving up. This will drive me mad. I need to track her down. To yell at her for being such a huge idiot. But I can't find her. And now I'll never see her again. I'm hit with the somber realization that it's all over. She'll take on Roa by herself. And when all that is settled, she'll disappear forever. It's possible she may have already done so. In which case, she's long since left the city. Just before the insanity sets in, I can only think of one thing. The awful screech of cicadas echo in my ears. I'm the cicada's husk. My body is light, hollow, incapable of all thought. Is this what it's like when your soul leaves your body? I can't even cry. But the legs attached to this empty shell still walk. Like an animal relying on its homing instinct. Though nothing remains within me, my body guides itself back to its den. She broke the man. She absolutely broke him. And with that, um, very dramatic end off. I'm going to stop there. I, I kind of don't want to, but I'm already, I've already been going for two hours. And I want to eat something. <laughs> It's, it's funny. It says day 12, but then in, in scene, it says day 14 morning. I guess because it's the, technically the 12th day that we're going to be active, but the 14th day overall, because Saturday, the, you know, the one we just went through that was like two minutes was uh we didn't really actually do anything it just kind of breezed through it so i guess it doesn't count it but then what's the other day it's not counting unless it's just a screw up which is possible but anyway i'm gonna stop rambling um i kind of just went off on a random tangent um so yeah, Arkwid's, uh, Arkwid got her booty call and then left Shiki a broken man. Um, so yeah, um, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching, and, uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna chill for a second. Um, if you would like to join memberships, it's two ninety nine a month. Um, you get early access to... Uh, pretty much all reaction content right now fate zero is up episode one of sao is up um actually by the time this is um by the time this is up episode two of sao abridged should also be up um carnival phantasm episode one should be up on friday and um uh you know, a bunch of other stuff um, again, it's only early access, nothing exclusive to uh, uh, members as of yet. I'm thinking about uploading um, the full-length reactions 
to things like Fate Zero and Carnival Phantasm uh, up there as ex as exclusives. Um, but I'm not sure yet. But um, yeah, again, no pressure, but it would really help me out. But again, if you can't, I totally understand. But yeah, anyway, sorry. Shell over. I'm so my bad. Um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.